This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verses 34 to chapter 11, verses 1. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Don't think I have come to make life cozy. I have come to cut. Make a sharp knife, cut between son and father, daughter and mother, bride and mother-in-law. Cut through these cozy domestic arrangements and free you for God. Well-meaning family members can be your worst enemies. If you prefer father or mother over me, you don't deserve me. If you prefer son or daughter over me, you don't deserve me. If you don't go all the way with me, through thick and thin, you don't deserve me. If your first concern is to look after yourself, you will never find yourself. But if you forgot about yourself and look to me, you will find both yourself and me. We are intimately linked into this harvest work. Anyone who accepts what you do accepts me. The one who sent you. Anyone who accepts what I do accepts my Father who sent me. Accepting a messenger of God is as good as being God's messenger. Accepting someone's help is as good as giving someone's help. This is a large work. I have caught you in two. But don't be overwhelmed by it. It's best to start small. Give a cool cup of water to someone who is thirsty. For instance, the smallest act of giving or receiving makes you a true apprentice. To become worthy of Jesus. Faith in Jesus is always challenging. Faith could be a battle within ourselves because our faith would demand us to do away with our selfishness. Faith in God cannot coexist with desire for wealth, power and pleasure. We may also face situations and people who attempt to dissuade us from our faith. Our workplaces or work schedule may not be suitable for us to practice faith. and in some instances society or the people in authority could prevent us from practicing faith in today's gospel jesus warns us of this conflict because of our faith in jesus misunderstandings or rejections may arise within our family our closest environment for many families today it is tempting not to discuss matters of faith in order to maintain family harmony while we are rarely aware of it This lack of faith in God is the major cause of unhappiness and peace in our modern families. The demands of disciplineship are presented in all their harshness. Matthew wrote his gospel in a time of persecution. Matthew intends to encourage the persecuted Christians by reminding them of Jesus' words in the gospel. Jesus encourages the disciples to stand firm in their faith in Jesus. not depending on external support, protection, and material security for the sake of his gospel. Jesus' message cuts right into our family lives. How many youngsters today care the least about their faith in God while choosing their life partners? How many Catholic parents take their kids to swimming lessons or music classes on Sundays and ignore their life in faith and their responsibility to bring up their kids in faith? And how many Catholic couples consider it normal to terminate a pregnancy when a child is inconvenient? A remarkable promise is made to those who welcome preachers of the gospel in the second part of the passage, verse 40 to 42. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes him who sent me. Verse 40. Not everyone has received the same qualities and gifts from God. In different ways, but with the same generosity, every true believer is called to support those who dedicate themselves to proclaiming the gospel.